Islington's food and garden waste is taken to the Eco Park Compost Centre, where it is delivered into the reception area. All sorts of organic waste are taken to the Compost Centre in Edmonton. This includes mixed food and green garden waste, which is collected from street properties in Islington. The food and green waste are mixed with oversized compost, which is left over at the end of the composting process, so that a mix of materials is produced that will be easier to compost during the process. It's a bit like baking a giant cake in terms of getting the mix of materials right at the start so that we get the perfect result at the end. The organic mix is then shredded to provide an even material. The shredded organic mix is then taken to the Stage 1 tunnels. A thin skin of Gore-Tex material, which allows the compost heap to breathe, covers each tunnel releasing excess moisture whilst retaining any odours within the composting tunnel. Each tunnel has two temperature probes monitoring temperatures using an on-site computer. The tunnels each have four perforated channels that introduce air via underground fans into the composting material. By introducing oxygen-rich air into the tunnels, this allows bacteria to flourish. The bacteria uses oxygen to break down carbon-rich matter and take in nitrogen from their food. After two to three weeks, the compost is moved to an identical stage two tunnel where the process is repeated. This helps move the outer compost into the middle in order to achieve the constant heat temperature required. They also produce carbon dioxide, steam and a lot of heat, up to 80 degrees over a two week period. After six weeks, the compost is taken out of the tunnels and taken to the maturation area and left there unmoved for five to six weeks to encourage the bacteria to finish off its food sources. The temperature decreases, which allows fungal species to grow in each pile. They break down the carbon-rich material. Then the larger fractions are separated from the smaller fractions using a screening machine. The small fractions are compost, and the large fractions are carbon-rich, oversized material, which can be returned to the beginning of the process. The screening machine also removes plastic, stones and metal for disposal. The compost itself is below 20 millimetres in size and is stored until it's removed from the site. Some of the compost is used in Islington parks and Islington Council also has regular events when the compost is given away to residents.